In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create something like this. Okay, let's get started. First, we need to add a null object. We could change the name. Next, we need to change the frame rate. I'm going to use 500. And let's now go to simulate. Thinking particles. Let's add the particle geometry right here. And the thinking particle settings, which I have right here. Let's here add some groups. I'm going to create five of these ones. One, two, three, uh, four, five. Change the colors. This one is red. This one green. This one yellow. This in blue. And the last one in purple. Okay. Now, let's go to the null object. Right click, Cinema 4D Tags, Expresso. Add the null object right here in this area. And take the coordinate global position and the matrix right here. Now, let's create a thinking particles. Right click, new node, thinking particles, generator, p-storm. Okay, let's connect this global position right here and the global matrix right here. Okay, and we have some particles right now. I'm going to use only one particle. I'm going to change this one to 40. This to 0, 0, and this one to 5 and 5. Let's see. Okay. Now, let's add a group to this piston. So, right click. Think in particles, TP standard, P group. With this one selected, add the first group right here. And connect one, this one right here. Okay, in this area, we now need another particles. But first, let's, let's check this. Okay, it's red, right there. Okay, let's rotate this time, like 90 degrees, like that. Okay, let's check. Okay, it's going up. All right. Right here, right click, thinking particles, TP initiator, P pass. Also, right click, new node, thinking particle condition, pH. Change this pH to die and add a thinking particle helper get data. Right here. Connect this to and get the position in this one right here. Select these two and hold down control and drag to copy. Select the P group and change it to 2. Make sure this change. So let me do it again. Okay. Select the P pass and change it to group 1. Ok, 
Okay. Let's connect this one to on and this one to the position. Okay. Check the settings right here. I'm going to change this one to 75. The birth type to shoot. I'm going to use 5. And the X one to 360. And let's see. Let's try it. One, two, two. Okay. Let's do the same thing again. Copy this. Hold down control and drag it down. Put it right here. And select this one. This now is going to be group two. So select it and change it to group two until this change. Select this one and this is going to be group three. Right here. Also let's check the settings. Increase this one to 135. Change this one to zero and the other one to 360. And let's check one more time. One, green, and yellow. Okay. Let's do this one more time. And then again, let's copy, hold down, control and drag, move it down, change the group right here this will be the tree so select tree make sure it change tree again this one will be four okay and the p store we're going to change it again zero three sixty Well, let me do this one more time. One more. Group four. Group four. This one will be group five. Okay. I also going to change the last settings this one will be 175 and this one will be like 200 and this I'm going to change X to 0 and this one to 360 okay let's check these ones 2 3 Four, and five. Okay, let's increase this a little bit. All right. Now, let's go to Mograph Tracer. Move it down and copy this five times. The first one will be for group one, second one, group two, the third one right here, group four, and group five. Okay, let's now check this and see what we have. Okay. Okay, we now have it. Basically, this is it. We now could add something 
like some hair I could add some hair go to materials create shader hair material I'm going to add five the first one could be green Let's add this five. Let's add this one. This one. This one. And this. And let's render. Okay, this is what we have. We could move right here. Render again. This is what we have so far okay we could also add some geometry so let's add let's add this sphere decrease this one going to move it right there hide it let's go back to the espresso right here right click thinking particles tp p pass and also i also need a standard shape and standard size okay for the size i'm going to increase this one to 100 connect here for the shape, I'm going to select the sphere and let me just hit render and check what we have. Let me see. Okay, let's hit render. Okay, it's a little bit big. So let me check 50. Do it again. Okay, let's hit render. Okay, we will get this sphere. You could also add some dynamics, thinking particles dynamics, like wind. Let's connect this to the wind. Let's add this one right here, change it to spherical. Let's change this one to 25, turbulence to 50, this one to 100. And let's check what we have. And you have different shapes. You could try to make a tree with this. Okay, let's render this to see. Okay, that's it. I hope you find this tutorial useful.